Good morning. So today we are going to 10.8 spheres. Uh, it is a pretty easy formula. It's probably easier than what we've been doing the past couple of days. As long as you follow the formulas, plug everything in, you're good to go. The nice thing is there's a lot less to worry about than perimeter and area and heights and all of that. So we're going to start out with question number one. Uh, the first question, let me apologize. The picture is of a cloud blowing up a beach ball. Um, the colored or the black and white copy definitely doesn't look like a beach ball as much as it did in color. But anyways, so if that cloud is blowing out four centimeters cubed of air with each breath and the radius of that beach ball is 10 centimeters, how many breaths is it going to take to fill that beach ball up? So take a second, make a prediction, see what you can do. Um, and if you're not quite sure, at least maybe say, is this, are we talking about volume? Or are we talking about surface area? What do we need to say? So go ahead, pause the video and try and figure out how to start that problem up. All right, so that one at least is going to be a volume question. Uh, and we're gonna actually gonna skip that problem, go down to two. Let's look at these formulas, figure out these formulas, then we'll come back to that question as well. So question number two, the volume of a sphere is volume equals four thirds pi r cubed, where r is the radius, and surface area is four pi r squared. So the nice thing about these formulas is all we have to know is the radius. Uh, once we know the radius, we can plug it in and we can get all the answers we need. So let's find the volume and the surface area of the solid. So let's start with volume. So again, volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed, where r is now 2.2. .2. So my radius there is going to be 2.2. .2. So then I can continue writing this as 4 thirds times 3.1. 4 times 2.2 .2 cubed. Order of operations says I have to do the exponent first. So we'll do 2.2 .2 cubed. I want to do 2.2 .2 cubed, I get 10.648. And then after that, it's just multiplying everything through. Um, the way I would do this one, if you're not so comfortable with fractions, it I, is I would put in my calculator 4 times 3.14 times 10.648, and then divide by 3 at the very end. It's a little glary on my screen, so once again, 4 times 3.14 times 10.648, and then take that answer and divide by 3. So you should get an answer of 44.58. And we will label that centimeters cubed because it's volume. Next, we're going to figure out surface area which my equation for that is four pi r squared. Four is just four, pi 3.14, and my radius once again is 2.2 .2 squared. Order of operations, once again, let's do the exponent first. When I do my exponent 2.2 .2 squared, I get 4.84, and then just plug that all into the calculator and you'll get your answer. So my surface area will then be approximately 60.79 centimeters squared. So once again, this is a little bit easier equation. We don't have so much work to do to find all the perimeter of the base and the area of the base and all of that. All we need is our radius, plug it in, you're good to go. So now let's go back to number one, knowing that we know that that's a volume question, we know what the equation is, let's plug it in and figure out our answer. So we've got 4 thirds times 3.14 times 10 cubed. When we plug in our radius using this volume equation. So let's first do order of operations. Let's do 10 cubed. And 10 cubed is going to give us 1,000. So then when I plug that into my calculator, doing 4 times 3.14 times 1,000, you get 12,560 divided by 3 for an answer of 4,186. Point six seven or 6.6 six repeating, however you want to do that. So we know the volume of that beach ball is 4,186.67 centimeters cubed. So now if that cloud is blowing air into that, let's figure out how many times he would have to blow the air out of his mouth to put it into the beach ball. So if I know that we need that much air, and his breath is 4 each time. I'm just going to take that answer, divide it by 4, 
and get an answer of 1,046. 1,046.67 breaths. All right. Now further, think about if that you feel is realistic or not. All right, so I'm gonna end this video and you guys can go ahead and watch the next video on the composite solids on question number three.